holy shit, this is my garbage, but I can't stop listening. DJ What's Smokey. going on YouTube? It is your boy Thomas, and today we're going to be taking a year-end review for Supreme Spring Summer 2023. Just a kind of casual discussion right here, a little one-way discussion about my opinions on basically the entire year from week one to week 19. We're still waiting on the sale that will probably happen in the next few weeks, maybe not this week, maybe next week, where we'll see some items be discounted. But for this video, we're going to talk about just the season in review kind of the uh, high points, the low points, some expectations, maybe some things I wasn't expecting. Let's uh, let's take a nice little look here. And guys, I still have a David Archie sponsorship. Check the links in the description if you need new underwear. Check out davidarchie.com. They willing, were willing to sponsor me for a previous video. I still have the codes active until July 7th, so please, if you want to support the channel, really consider going to davidarchie.com. They have underwear, undershirts, pajamas, short sleeve, long sleeve, thermals, you know, use my code SUPTHOMAS for 20% off. It really helps me out. Thank you so much. So we're vibing out to some synthwave on uh, Lo-Fi Girl. Figured I'd kind of have the vibe similar to a live. So just looking at all, I guess we can go category by category. We'll look at jackets. Um, this is very similar to my season preview. So if you have already seen that 19 weeks ago, I apologize. But basically, we're just going to look through pretty much every single item and just talk about it. Like this faux Sherling hooded jacket to start off. This piece kind of just came and went. I don't really remember too much about it. It's, uh, you know, not really my style, so I can't say that I really cared that much about it. This varsity jacket, it definitely grew on me. I remember filming the preview. This was one of the cooler items that released that week, and I, th I think it's pretty nice. You know, the fuck em, it's not for everybody, but it, it's cool. Uh, we got the Cordura striped puffer jacket, which, hey, I actually learned a lot about Cordura this year. <laughs> you know, the material, it's like a nylon, it's a Prima Loft insulation. And you have to say, guys, this season, in my opinion, was pretty good. Like, people love to hate on Supreme for being basic, but, you know, we still get things like Supreme shot leather racing jackets, which I completely forgot they had this silver color. We're gonna have to do a quick look up about how much that costs because I eventually do want to do, plan on doing a, another Supreme resale recap. I would love to know what you guys would like to see. Retail price. Retail price of the Supreme uh, Sterling Silver Racing Jacket was $800 and the last sale was 1500. So there's not a ton of sales. We only see two right here. You can't see them because of the webcam, but we'll do that like that. 1,500 and 1,100, but that's uh, pretty crazy. So definitely the more expensive items tend to, to hold their value for a little bit. Crazy to see the racing jacket resale for like $1,500 when it was already 800. Definitely the high quality cowhide leather continues to be a really desirable item and being a nice just leather racing jacket it's just a sick piece this one right here is really cool too the shibori denim trucker jacket let's look at that supreme shibori so yeah these ones right here retailed at 298 this one's last sale was 450 so these are definitely holding their value increasing in money with that price right there you can see and the blue one didn't do as well this one sat on the side actually for a bit so this one you can get slightly close to retail a fraction of the cost of the black one so that's that just shows you how kind of a uh, fickle supreme can be when one of them like this won't sell out but this one will do absolute banger numbers so that's pretty crazy i think this is one of the better pieces of the year both of these with the kind of acid washed logos right there or the shibori dyed logos continuing on the mitchell and ness sequin varsity jacket was a pretty cool piece i definitely remember a lot about it like it was fun it was uh definitely interesting it sold out i believe pretty quickly canvas clip jacket i don't remember as much about this to be honest 
but it was definitely a nice piece. I don't know if we have time, guys, to do every single piece, so we're actually gonna forward just kind of scroll through, and when we see stuff that I like or that I thought was cool, I'll definitely click on it. I know this was a very popular item, the Gore-Tex lightweight shell jacket. We had this pattern on the chair and maybe a couple other items that we'll definitely see in a little bit. I think this maybe was a little bit, did a little bit less than what I thought. Like traditionally Gore-Tex does pretty well and call me crazy, but I feel like this didn't do super well. I'm gonna have to check it. So the Gore-Tex lightweight shell, 398 under retail at this point for a large. The other ones are listed at 595, 525. So I don't know really what the price of this one is. EBA is probably a better place to look, but I just wanted to double check really quick. Again, the Umbro hooded anorak was a really cool piece. I liked it a lot. Same with the Gore-Tex leather 700 downfill parka. I remember when I did the video on this, could not figure out if this was one piece, if it was two pieces, but we did in fact realize it was uh, just one piece right there. It was a kind of a two in one type deal that little cape as well now the madras reversible wind stopper i still think this is one of the coolest jackets that's released recently because it's reversible you have the blue jacket you have the supreme embroidered in that awesome font and then you have like a full other jacket so i have to check the price of this it has to be something good so the madras reversible jacket was 398 retail and it's still this one you can buy an xl for 388 the sales of this 400 to 490 on February 21st was the last one sold, which makes sense. It's a winter item. Keep your eyes peeled on this, guys. If you like it a lot, I recommend copying this during the off season from someone who needs to get rid of it, who can't hold afford to hold on to a $400 jacket. So keep your eyes peeled. Maybe post some wanting to buy on the Supreme subreddit. That's definitely an option you could do and maybe get that for a deal because i feel like that that item will only go up in price the vance and leather racing jacket i thought this is a really cool item i do love supreme and vance and leather whenever they come together for different collabs this one i think the black one just kind of blew the the multicolored one out of the water it just looks a lot more wearable in my opinion but still a very cool item both ways hated this item right here there's just something about it that's just basic to me never really liked it the leather trench coat it's a little much but i still think it's pretty neat oh man the denim sleeve na1 i really wanted to cop this i really did but uh i had to pass on it i don't know what it's going for right now but hopefully i could pick it up in the future sometime yeah 398 it's above that right now so this is definitely wow one of an xxl sold for 934 basically uh the week of so if you copped this you could have really done pretty well so it released uh april 6th and yeah it just did numbers ever since wow someone had one on june 15th um, okay, that's recently. Gotcha. Yeah, it's reverse chronological order. I was just very confused. Um, so reverse chronological order shows it's been selling for less now. But uh, I'm guessing it's people that really need it gone. 271 someone sold it for on May 21st. That's actually crazy. 271s. I, that person got an absolute steal. And the seller just took a bath on it. That's not even worth selling. But that's what happens, guys. When you buy clothes you can't afford... To not sell right if you're gonna be a reseller guys make sure you can afford to keep that for indefinitely I'm gonna say right okay that's pretty much all the jackets the geometric velour you know I kind of gassed it up in the preview video but as of right now I still like it I don't think it's as an as good of an item as I made it out to be you know what I'll admit that I was pretty excited about this in the preview I still think it's neat but it didn't really do super well. And uh, we're gonna just move on to the next category, the shirts, magazine short sleeve. I think this was a really cool and fun, interesting piece, really showcased Supreme's kind of admiration for the past, showing love to the old stuff, the Supreme bunnies, seeing Ice Spice wear this. I definitely think this piece will continue to rise up. I wonder if Ice Spice is a character that can 
boost the price of Supreme items, kind of similar to how Drake could in the past. Not too much else on these long sleeves. Nothing that really stands out, at least the money shirt was funny. The needlepoint short sleeve was cool. Going back, the Kurt Cobain, this one. So I had to miss this drop, unfortunately, guys. I really wanted to cop this for the live cop, but I went camping that weekend and my friends picked me up earlier than I thought. So I was only able to cop the Mustang jersey and I attempted to get the racing hat, but it was uh, only for sale in EU. But luckily, my good friend Florian Peter hooked me up, my subscriber. So thank you to Florian Peter for that. But yeah, you can see here the prices of Kurt Cobain. XXL's nearing $500. But if you look right here at the recent sales, boom. They will only continue to maybe go down in price. June 12th, we saw 270 we saw 500 for an XXL, 270. So yeah, it's definitely one of those things where after retail or after shipping, right? This item was pretty much only, this item was only about 200 bucks after retail, like close to that. So 70 bucks over retail, it's not crazy, but it's definitely, I think the definitive item of the year. And I definitely didn't think it would be cause you know, I'm not a Kurt Cobain fan just was never my thing. I just never wanted to be a, I would never claim to be a fan when I'm not, but you guys were on it very early on. A lot of people were in the comment section talking about Kurt Cobain. Obviously I have to show support to the perfect season Jersey. I think I got the wrong color when it comes to resale value, but it's not all about resale value. Actually. Hey, look at that. Lowest ass 250 right there. Bada bing. 118. Last sale was, Jesus, 250 right there. So I was telling you guys, this was a good piece. And I don't know if people didn't believe me, but uh, look at that. June 1st, 350. I think only as time will continue to uh, football season, this jersey will only go up in price. I think it's really, really cool. I mean, I could fucking show it to you guys right if you haven't seen it before. Here it is. Super 3D right here. I know this isn't the perfect video with the webcam, but seeing the embroidery, it's really, really nice. These embroideries are always super dope, quality garments. And I just love that it just says perfect season on the back with this little like kind of word art. You guys remember word art back in Microsoft uh, Word? Just a cool little metallic font right there. 23 for spring, summer 23. And obviously Michael Jordan 23 too. It's a popular number and the S on the front. It's just a really nice Jersey. And I've kind of always wanted a Supreme Jersey. Never really had the chance to. I remember when like the Florida Lee Jersey came out. Yeah, the Florida Lee Jersey came out in 2013 fall, winter. This is one of my first seasons of all time. And this is one of those pieces guys that it if you weren't there, it might not make sense to you, but this item just does crazy numbers on the, the resale market, like 500 bucks. I think it's very underpriced. Like there's only one picture right here. It's kind of an older piece. So StockX is not the best place. Grail is probably a better place, but the point is Supreme jerseys are legit. And if you maybe haven't picked up on that yet, consider uh, picking up on that because I think they're pretty sick. Mustang jersey. This is still on the site. If you guys want to look right now, there's a ton of stuff still on the site. Mustang jersey included. Got a compliment from an old lady at a thrift store this weekend wearing this right here. And if you actually reverse it, this is a really nice way to wear the shirt too. I really like the black one because the gold is super nice as a reversible color. Same thing with the blue one. I think the blue one is a close second because it's a dark navy instead of black which technically wearing this in the summer would be nicer because it would absorb less sunlight and less heat, but uh, it's still pretty dark. So consider picking this up, guys. All sizes available. You know, it might go on sale. This one's got an XXL as well. So I think at least the XXL will probably eventually resale, but uh, we're going to do a full like what's on the website video later this week. 
today we're still just talking about the you know year in review one two fuck you i think this will be a funny shirt maybe in a few years it's still funny right now but what i'm saying is like in terms of like getting it on the market this is kind of a sleeper piece right here the block arc i i don't really like it as much because you really can't read it at all like it's a little too distorted for my liking um dragon wrap was one of those items i got close to buying but didn't end up doing it i want to see how much it costs right now so supreme dragon wrap the white one is 169 it retailed for 88 bucks you know this is a pretty good example of an item that did well because here's the thing 88 bucks for a full embroidery like this is actually quite undervalued in my opinion like supreme could have charged 100 bucks for it but they didn't so if you picked up this dragon wrap shirt and are sitting on it and wanting to sell it i'd consider going for it now you know it's the peak summer right now it's right july 4th weekend you know so people are probably looking to get some some supreme stuff for the summer still you know and maybe this is one of those ones that you could sell or if you're looking to pick it up maybe consider getting it this winter whatever again guys there's always going to be so many supreme items that you never cop championi basketball jersey i had to pass on it i already got a jersey but i think this is a super sweet item I don't think it's still on the website. It actually still is on the website. You know, if you missed out on the perfect season jersey, consider copying this, you know? This would be great to play pickup basketball in. I definitely see this item being at least $200 in a year. You know, it just, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be with this high quality embroidery. It's gonna be off the site. And even when Supreme items don't resell after a week or even two weeks, eventually they'll never be available again right because it is still a seasonal streetwear brand so remember that if you guys ever feel bad about not selling your stuff you know just hold on to it enjoy it maybe again you have to end up wearing it for a couple times it's not the end of the world so that is pretty much all of the sweaters that i wanted to talk about Big Cats, Jacquard, eh, kind of came and went. A lot of these other items kind of came and went. Moving on to sweatshirts. Inside Out Box logo. Gotta say it, guys. Disappointed, you know? I definitely took a bath on the, <laughs> the large one. I copped a large Supreme box logo, size, uh, size large and black, and uh, wanted to really sell it because I was just copying it for the live cop video. I uh, didn't necessarily want it. And that was my mistake. You know, I'm happy to have it. It's a very comfy sweater. But now that it's, uh, you know, getting to be 115 degrees out here in Phoenix, God damn it. It's uh, just burning a hole in my closet. So don't make my same mistakes. You know, for me, I was like, I was willing to gamble on it because it was a box logo. But if you look at the prices right here, Supreme Inside Out box logo, they're not doing too well. One, 228, the gray one was the best one to get. I definitely bought the wrong color, the black one. It just isn't it. 178. I mean, that's all right. It's above retail. I would love to sell it to someone for like 180 shipped, but I definitely would consider doing it for less if anyone really, really wants it. So let me know if you're still watching again. Thank you so much for your support. And going through the Glitter R Coated Sweatshirt, I thought this is a really cool piece. Again, the video is coming out to be way longer than I thought, so appreciate you guys still sticking around. Overdyed S logo. EU exclusive, or maybe it was US exclusive. Um, that's definitely a video I have to do. Um, is Supreme region locked content. Yeah, Supreme overdyed S logo hooded sweater. It's not really popping up. So that's very interesting. The natural colored one was the best one to get apparently, which is not a huge surprise. The natural stuff did pretty good, like that color right there. But 188 retail, it, it, it definitely reselled. So very interesting look on that. And looking at the rest of the items, nothing really too else that stood out to me. We'll go into the pants. The flight pants, I still really fuck with these. I really kind of want to cop them. I'm hoping they go on sale during this big sale because they still are on the website. 
if I, they're not on the website. No, they got taken off. So I'm hoping they just sat and, you know, eventually just pulled them off, right? To kind of make it seem like there's more scarcity than there really is. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything else is kind of basic, in my opinion. The Shibori loose fit, we talked about those already. In terms of shorts, the slap shots, I think these did pretty well. I'm pretty sure these are reselling for a little bit. I def definitely told people to get those because such a big Supreme branding on the front. Really nice. The nylon water shorts, we got some good selections of swim trunks this year. Uh, these are the spring tees, I think. Tonal box logo, doing pretty well on the aftermarket. I sold mine for a small profit, nothing too crazy, but that was definitely a better item to get than the inside out box logo. Watercolor, Kurt Cobain. You know, you can look up the prices yourselves, guys. I honestly can't just keep looking at all the prices just for the sake of the, the video's length. I'm sure I've lost so many people, um, but that's all right. In terms of hats, we had so many good things. Magazine camp cap sold, uh, sold, was sold last week. Let's see if we still have any hats left from last week. We do not have any hats from last week. Week 19 was pretty crazy. We do have some Mob Deep still and the nameplate, which is surprising. Classic logo, um, some boonies as well. Huge selection of hats still on the site, guys. If you haven't had a Supreme hat ever, I definitely recommend it. I do also have a gingham orange denim hat for sale. Let me know. Willing to let it go for like around 75 bucks shipped right i also do have a motion logo beanie willing to let go for about 50 shipped again hey let me know it really helps support the channel okay and the rest of the hats you know there were so many good things and so many kind of just mid things seeing the racing six panel like i was able to cop the yellow one courtesy of florian peter i'll have to show that off later it's just in my room right now and my girlfriend is asleep because i record these videos at like 5 30 a.m if you guys didn't know i'm an insane person but really cool hat favorite hat of the season already just love it it's embroidered it's crazy it's really cool eu exclusive which is super sad so if you guys uh if florian peter's in the chat down here in the description talk to him get with him i posted on my community tab shouting him out that's his personal youtube channel he does not make content but i'm sure he reads comments so if you are looking for him to get you a uh racing hat please uh you know make haste do not wait to uh get that you could also consider going on the supreme subreddit and asking people uh from europe that have it same with the roses six panel apparently this did not release in the u.s and is still available on supreme's eu websites but please, again, act fast. And going through the rest of the items, nothing really grabs my attention. So, you know, everything else was pretty eh. There were some good items I'm sure that I'm missing. But again, we're just going to keep going. Bags this year, I was disappointed, guys. I'm going to be honest. The only good, decent things were the side bags. And those just aren't as exciting to me anymore. They're just so um, overdone, you know. Like, it's all right. Mesh stuff, eh, not great. Okay, the, pot, the finally the part of the video you guys all been waiting for, at least I've been waiting for, is the accessories. Now, 2023 was the year of accessories, in my opinion, because of all the stuff, we got air hockey tables, USM credenzas. These are really great 1960s designs. Porcelain Jaguar, 1500 bucks. People still bought them and uh, they resold. Supreme Jacob & Co. Link Bracelet. I think this actually isn't selling for that much. Less than I thought. I have to stand up because I've been sitting down for too long. Apologies. Um, Supreme Singing Machine. This karaoke machine, guys. Sleeper item. Absolute sleeper. Sat on the site for a little bit. Sold out. It's now going for like 400 bucks, 500 bucks. Patchwork Quilt. This thing sat for a bit, but eventually sold out like I said it would. I think one of my subscribers picked it up and I'd love to hear, okay, it's still on the site. Whoopsie. Um, you know, it'll eventually sell out. Trust me, bro. Uh, it'll be fine. The Stau Brown Dutch oven. I totally forgot this came out. Made in France. I think this will be one of those items that might take a while to appreciate in value, but cast iron, guys. This is a quality piece of kitchenware 
and I think it'll do really good long term. The Kermit chair is, I think, still on the website. I'm not totally sure. Let's look at all the accessories that are still on here. We do have Supreme James Palmer. Okay. We have barely anything. We have the knife, which that's crazy to me that this is still on the website. If that goes on sale, I will pick that up. Uh, actually, probably not. I need to sell some items. I'm so addicted to Supreme, guys. It's a problem. Oh, wow. Did the Supreme Daywa fishing pole go off the site? It was sitting for a while, way longer than I thought. That was Supreme Week 18. Okay, it's still there. I think this item is such a sleeper, guys. I was wrong about it. Apologies. I thought it would sell out. I think the price, having a regular Daywa being 188 and having this one be double that, over double that, it's pretty crazy. Uh, Car Coleman Grill. This was my biggest cop of the year. So if you guys haven't checked out the video, peep it right here. I did the full unboxing after the live cop. The Batosi blue vase. Now this is one of those esoteric items that I really don't know how it's gonna do. I think it might do kind of well though. And uh, we will only have to see and wait and, 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 and keep waiting, I guess. Five piece tool set. You know, I really wanted it, but it ended up not being that helpful, not that useful. And the, the tools were kind of redundant to what I already had. Supreme bobblehead. I think this would do well. Baseball, incredibly collectible, especially if you got both of them. Super nice. The Heller bowls. I really wanted these. I have too many bowls already. Dog bowl. One of the least good dog bowls. You know, not as good as the original, but still pretty decent. Supreme camp hammer. You guys know I got one sitting on my desk right there. I've showed it off at the live cops. This one was such an easy cop. I was trying to say it. It's super lightweight. It works as a great camp hammer, and uh, hell yeah, it's uh, fucking sick. I'm glad I copped it. Bike tool, sleeper item, crayons. These are not that great. Uh, I think there's very low collectability on something like this. I bought the magic markers, and they're just, they have not increased in value at all. The Rot Ring 3-in-1 pen I think was super sleeper. I wanted to cop it. It sold out pretty quickly because it was so cheap. You can definitely still get a Rot, wing, rot Ring regular non-supreme branded for cheap uh supreme logo towels i thought it was crazy that blue and green sold out before red don't know why mini towels i got these these were easy cops i'm using them as kind of decoration for some hot wheels over here and then i have one in my bathroom for a bluetooth speaker which is funny uh hollywood trading company i thought it was a pretty good collab you know not my style but if you're like a cowboy modern little nas x type of guy then maybe it's pretty cool for you these ones are always solid. Supreme Tomagachi, a hey. come on now, 80 bucks shipped. Hit me up, guys. Come on, pink camo. Supreme Tomagachi, I need it gone. If you need it, I'll probably hook you up. If you're a subscriber, we can do less than 80, but uh, definitely a cool item. I think we'll definitely keep rising in value. And then skateboards, Hanes, pretty basic. Strawberries deck was cool. Um, tonal box logo skateboard i mean if you have this full set kudos to you that would look really cool in a house if you have a lot of space and now we're in spitfire wheels and shoes skate obviously there's a ton of collabs guys that i was not able to talk about because i don't have them pulled up immediately i'll probably do another recap video of all of the collabs of the season but this video was so long so thank you so much for watching guys it's been your boy thomas and i'm out peace and buck grease see ya Thank you.